Hi everybody, all my followers. Um, and I want to start this video by actually apologize for uh, for the way this video is going to look like. Um, right, basically, I'm not uh, I'm not doing it the way I usually do uh, for the simple fact that um, I'm just going to show you the the, the actually repair uh, procedure rather than going through the fault finding and all that stuff. Um, but I quick explain you what the problem is and which car is. So the, the car is a 2002 Audi A6 uh, with the 2.5 liter engine. And uh, the, the, the problem with the car was that the cluster, quite randomly, was not like, it was whenever, uh, all the pointers would go like to zero, for example, and then they would go back um sometimes the rpm cluster would stay stuck on about i don't know about 800 rpms and you turn the car off and it would just stay there when the move uh, at the start i thought was the, the the actually motor that controls the needles swap them around exactly the same thing uh, every now and then would do that on the rpm side even though the motor in there was the motor from the 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 speedo which was working fine all the way so all the all, all the the other needles there's four of them so you have you have the temperature temperature you have voltage and then you have i think engine oil temperature and uh, uh cooling cooler uh, water uh, temperature all of them they would go like to zero and then they would come back on everything else on the dash would work fine um, all the displays, everything. So, after swapping those needles, uh, after do all the normal checks, um, uh, I checked the, the 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 software version on the actually dashboard, and the software version is one of the versions um, that, um, or the software on the processor, um, is actually one of the softwares that can be uh, damaged um, can't be damaged uh, it can get uh, corrupted let's put it like that uh, there is a fix for it that carprog can do for you if you have carprog um, i have all the soldering done already so as you can see all the wires are already soldered there's two pins you need to lift from the Huxley board uh, there's one pin in there and there's one pin in there you need to lift and connect a wire to it and then obviously just connect all the other ones to the board um, just a quick tip I advise you to secure the cable first so you make sure it doesn't move and it is not going to break the solder the solders um, and yeah so the dash is now here everything is, is is soldered and I'm ready to read the the dash so we're gonna read the processor by the way I'm gonna leave in the link below in the link below I'm gonna leave in the description below um, all the software that can be possibly affected by this okay so this this one is running I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in the processor in there I'll show you are is version 8.51 um, and this version can indeed be affected by by this uh, glitch uh, so there's other versions I'll leave um, all of them in the description below uh, in case if you want to have a look um, and yeah so what, what, what we're going to do now is we're going to connect uh, this into Carprog and um, and we're going to read and then repair this uh, software hopefully okay so okay so in there you have all the connections as you can see all the wires you need to connect everything you need to do uh, very important make sure you connect your car product to the 12 volts okay because you need 12 volts on this uh, and once again all the connections and we're gonna press first we're gonna press read and that's gonna read the there is so the ID and the software version the ID is gonna be these first numbers on top of the chip those in there 5040,109 there it is at the top the ID and, uh, and now we're gonna press 
repair. Start, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, guys, so uh, the reason why I was getting the error was because I had the actually um, the software uh, was in the wrong place. Um, I, for some reason, I thought that would ask me to to look for the software. But, but it doesn't. Uh, you need to have the software uh, on the root folder um, of CarProg itself. So it's the only way. So as you can see now, it's, it's writing software. Just gonna wait for this to end, to end, and then we'll carry on. Okay, and we are nearly there. As you can see. And it's done. Let's just uh, do a read. Make sure he still reads the chip. And yes, he does. Okay, so uh, everything went just fine. Uh, so everything points that we we repair the problem. Let's go to see now the the next step is to obviously take all these wires out uh, push down the two pins we had to lift and sold them back into the PCB and then we're gonna put it on the car um, I will record that bit uh, once we put everything on the car I might not gonna I might not gonna be able to see a straight away if we fix the problem or not because like I said it was quite random to happen um, sometimes it would happen when you turn the key sometimes it would happen a few hours a few uh, a few starts later it, it was quite random so but um, I will not post this video until I'm 100% sure that we fixed the problem uh, so I, I will I'll let the cart go and a few days later when uh, when uh, the guy can I will ring the guy if he tells me it never happened again uh, surely we'll fix the problem by just uh, reload the software into this um, processor in there to this uh, chip so let's gonna do that let's gonna take all the wires uh, solder those pins back on and just assembly the the cluster again okay so I just uh, kind of assembly partially um, I hope the needles are all where they should be just gonna have a go turn the ignition on see if everything powers up okay and yes it does yes it does so everything Looks okay to me. No, that needle can't be right. I'm sure it can't be right because I haven't started the engine today. So it can't be right. This one is not counting as well. It's going to see. I need to position these needles correctly first. But yeah, it powers up okay. Let me start the engine. Yeah, started fine. RPMs are working. Okay, that one I you see that that one is now in the correct position. But it powers up okay, it seems to be working. Okay, just let me position these needles where they should be. The petrol one is not even working, so we need to put it right as well. Okay. Okay, I just put all the needles back where they should be, as you're gonna see now. So the petrol is working, everything's working, the voltage is working fine. I've cycled the ignition. I lost the count now. Um, it never failed, so it's working fine. But saying that, sometimes it wouldn't fail straight away, so. 
I know the middle screen is not very good, but that's the screen itself. So yeah, he's working. He's not failing now, but um, I think only time will tell because, like I said, it was very, very random. Sometimes <laughs> it was very random, really was. So, well, we'll see. I think I'm gonna gonna deliver the car and uh, wait a few days, bring him back, or actually, if it doesn't work, he's gonna bring the car back anyway. So if this, if you see that, if you are watching this video, it's because that this repair um, has actually worked. And uh, and that's it, guys, for this video. Um, Hope you found some information here that you're gonna that's gonna be helpful for you. Um, and yes, if you are having this problem, there is a chance that uh, update the that uh, software uh, can resolve your issues. Um, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, just put them below. And like always, thank you for watching.